All right, so in this video, I'm finding the equation of a periodic function. Now, this periodic function doesn't have any phase shift. It doesn't move from left to right. Uh, it, so the equation of the line is going to be y equals a, it's either sine or cosine, don't know yet, bx plus c. So we've got to find the a value, the b value, and the c value. So first of all, let's look at the curve. It starts here, comes down, uh, to negative 1, comes back up to 5, and uh, back down again. So the maximum looks like it passes through y equals 5, the minimum negative 1. So from that you can find out the amplitude. The amplitude is going to be equal to amplitude. equals uh, this minus this divided by 2. So max minus minimum divided by 2. There are other ways to find the amplitude as well, but this is one way to do it. 5 minus minus 1 over 2. That's going to be 3. So my amplitude for this particular curve is 3. Uh, let's look at our C value. Now the C value is the middle of my curve. Now, the top is 5, the minimum is 1. I can find the C value by doing max plus min divided by 2. That's 5 plus uh, negative 1 divided by 2. So that's going to be 2. You should also just be able to look at the middle value here. So, I've got an amplitude of 3. I've got a C value of 2. Now, just ask yourself a question, what kind of curve is it? Well, it starts in the middle. Its y-intercept is not at the top, it's not at the bottom, so that means it must be a sine curve. And it starts by going from the middle downwards. It goes in a downward direction. So that means it's going to be a negative sine curve or sin curve, whatever you want to call it. So we know a is 3. Well, now we know that a is negative 3. Now we know the c value is 2. We know it's a sine curve. The last thing we really need to do is find the b value. Now we know that period equals 2 pi over b. And we know that in this case, it starts down the bottom comes down, back to the middle, up, and back down. The period is from this point to this point. So the period is from 0 to pi on 2. So the period is pi on 2. That equals 2 pi over b. I can use cross multiplication to figure out what my b value is. That means that b up the top is going to be equal to 2 pi times 2 over pi. B is equal to 4 pi over pi. B is equal to 4. All right, the final step here, I'm going to move my head out here for a second. The final step is to put all of that together into an equation. We know that y equals negative 3 sine b is 4, 4x plus c, c is 2. All right, um, plenty to do there. Um, you just need to work through them step by step.